Hi there and welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. With the Olympics here again, I just wanted to throw a few thoughts out there that may be fun to think about as the games unfold. Will this stifling COVID environment requirements limitations have any impact on athlete morale or performances? Affiliating with others at the games, well that's a big part of the celebration. To be locked down in a moving bubble, well that'll alter the experience. As for the athletes, who will rise up, who will surprise, who will be the dominant team hauling away all the hardware? Maybe no one. To this point it looks like a pretty stratified competitive landscape, but again we'll see. Look for surprises. Also will the host country have an advantage in any way? It's their venue, their ice, their Zambonis, their food, their accommodations. They're not exactly the most open society in the world, so let's hope it's fair. All athletes, including the host countries, should be in the village, breathing the same air in an identical environment. Will doping be legit? WADA dropped the ball in Sochi in 2014 and there was blatant and bold cheating in the host country, switching out urine specimens in a hidden room. Let's hope no one pulls any garbage this time. Now for the actual skating. It's Sven Kramer's last chapter. Will the greatest all-around champion ever bring it all at 35 years of age and rise up? Let's hope he has a wonderful game. He's done so much to bring the sport forward. And then there's Nils Vanderpaal, the Swedish distance star who set world records over the past year and made it look easy, all the while violating virtually all the training rules about how it should be done. He's trained specific, solitary, and different. He's an outlier, making things even more interesting. He's been a little bit cocky lately in interviews, a little bit boastful. We'll see what happens. And expect a ton of close races, especially in the 500 and 1500s and women's 3000. These are tight fields with fierce rivalries, veterans against rising stars. It should be really fun to watch. In the end, the Olympic credo says it best. The most important thing in the Olympic Games is not to win, but to take part. Just as the most important thing in life is not the triumph, but the struggle. The essential thing is not to have conquered, but to have fought well. Thank you for watching Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. We'll see you next time.